do. Oh, sure. Yeah. Unless we start deteriorating. Big CT. Like. <laughs> Still sitting around that table, and the topic's getting more and more interesting. <laughs> further and further away from me. Well, I, I, I tell you, I have a feeling, and I am no scholar at all of the Bible, but I really have a suspicion that God's tried to reach the human societies in a variety of ways, mm -hmm. oh, and that Confucius may well have been an agent. Uh, uh, the Muslim thing. Well, and this is what puzzles me on the Muslim thing, is that the Muslims come from exactly the same background as as the Christians do. Well, well the, Jews. the Jews. And there the was Jews a separation. Yeah. Yeah. At one time, of yeah. several thousand years oh, ago, yeah. and uh, and the uh, one group that yeah. left or that separated. Yeah. Uh, the group that went on and Jesus Christ was born to are, are as a Christian then yeah. we who believe in in Jesus Christ as a and I believe in different in Jesus Christ in a different way than a lot of people do but uh, that would get us into another <laughs> I got into an argument with my brother-in-law about that and and his son not not too long ago and up on you but they ganged up on you, didn't they? Well, they they tried to. No. <laughs> You're a little tough to gang up on. I have noticed that. <laughs> well, but but the but the early Muslims believed in Jesus too. That he was a prophet. Oh, they still do. Oh yeah, I know. I. But the, the Jews don't follow him, and the and the Muslims don't follow him. His his teachings, oh, no. his guidance, no. his. Uh, enlightenment is no. what I think. No, oh, he I came across something the other day, though. Two words. And it caused me Messianic Jews. Who are the Messianic Jews? The Messiah Jews. Well, are they see, Jewish? they believed it. They believed the Messiah was coming that would make them great. Yeah. That's the kind of a Messiah they That's wanted, is my understanding. That would make the Jews great, and uh, so when Jesus came, he didn't come as a as a great man. He came as a man, a simple, to lived a very simple life, and, and disappointed uh, this many of the Jews. But that and, and it was a disappointment to, to the Messianic. The so they didn't they accept, accept him as the Messiah. Now, see, I was thinking of reading this as. Jews that believed in, in Messiah Christ. Well, there are Christian Jews now, they say. Yes, there are some Christian Jews. Uh, in fact, the first uh, Christians that we that we read, what they wrote, were, Jewish. were Jews, some of them. But they, they met this man and realized that he had something very special and unusual, that he was indeed sent by a higher power because of his wisdom and uh, his abilities to uh, to help people in their uh, their illnesses and his desire to what's that his desire to do that mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so that many people many people did believe in him but uh, a lot of the Jews uh, under the Jewish leadership we better, you better get some of that that stuff to sprinkle out for the ants, because there's a lot of ants around here. Going up that tree trunk. Yeah, they are. Well, it's kind of the same old story. Those in power don't want to be threatened by any other ideology. Yep, right. Well, I will be very surprised to get to heaven and not see a whole lot of people that a lot of my good Baptist friends are pretty sure won't be there. Well, that's that's Jules' joke, you know. What's Jules' joke? About the guy that There were a new bunch of inductees into heaven, and Gabriel was giving them the tour. And this cloud is Catholics, and this cloud over here are Lutherans. Now, you want to be quiet as we walk by this cloud, because they're the Baptists, and they, th and they think they're the only ones over here. <laughs> Yes, they do. Some of them do. Oh, my brother. My brother, sure, I was going to go to hell and marry a <laughs> Disciples of Christ 
girl or not a Baptist. A Camelite. A Camelite. Yeah. <laughs> When I worked in New London, Connecticut, and I was working as the assistant to the minister, not the assistant minister because I couldn't be ordained in 1943, and uh, no no Methodist women could be up until the 60s or something, and I would have had to have more education to be ordained. But anyway, I still was the assistant to the minister, and um, the minister... That church was fantastic. I just thought he was one of the most wonderful Christian people I've ever met. And he uh, worked in cooperation with many other uh, ministers in the in the uh, town of New London, Connecticut. And uh, the church was quite a large church. When I went there, 1,200 members. And three years later, when I left there, there were 1,400 members. And they loved that minister. but And he worked with the Catholic the uh, and many of the other churches. And they had a special gathering one summer when I was there. I think it was in the summer. And uh, they tried to include the Baptist minister who was just a block down the street. And he said, no, none of the rest of these are Christian. We're the only ones who are real Christians.